Morning golfers, sports fans, divot takers from around the world. Have you guys ever maybe not taken a divot? Maybe hit it in a little bit of, excuse me, got a little sunblock on here. Always remember the sun is your friend as long as you don't have too much of it. And remember, if you sit in the sun too long, you start doing crazy stuff like me. But anywho, even if you're in the sun and you're on the golf course, by chance you might end up in what we call a bunker. It's not a sand trap. Those of you that want to call it a sand trap are in them more than others because you call it a trap, if you will. But when you're in that bunker and your ball is surrounded by that sand and there's no water around that ball, even after you played after a little downpour, you have to thank these boys right behind me. They're not here yet, but let's see what they've done. So in this little tidbit here, it's not what's under the dirt. It's what's under the sand. Now, if you're in a good greenside bunker or any fairway bunker, there's a lot that goes into it even before they put all that sand in. And if I pan around right here, take a look at that. We got a beautiful, huge bunker, a lot of contouring going around. Okay, this is, uh, we're back on this double greens complex again as I pan right around me. I'm on the, the, the separating green right here. But get it, again, back, taking a look at this. This is a herringbone drainage system all underneath the bunker. You never would imagine that there's this much drainage that goes in to keep you dry. Now, we're down here in Florida, again, predominantly sand, depending on where you're at. Most of Florida is sand, but it doesn't matter. Whenever you're containing water, again, through erosion, you want to slow it down. But in a bunker, you're containing water, definitely. You have to have some way for the water to dissipate and get on out. And this is where, again, thousands of dollars are spent in order to do this. Years ago, when the Scots first started playing, the bunkers were just where the uh, sheep used to bed on down for the evening and have a little bottle of scotch or what have you. And that's where the bunkers came on in. But now we're all, all the way into the future, and this is what we have in order to make it dry and happy for you so your ball sits up. So this is what they do, you know, a little drain tile in, uh, pea gravel, and then they sprinkle that sand up on top for containment. So what happens is, is that the uh, drain tile has not been uh, contaminated at all. Now, these are the types of piece of equipment that they use for all this right here. Mini excavator, able to do a lot of different digging apparatus. And again, mini dumps, these little mini dumps. These things are able to put that sand, pea gravel, any place that you want. Because when they dig the uh, trenches out, they don't use a trencher. What they do is they dig it right on out and then take that dirt and put it right in these little mini dumps and just take it right away. And then they come right back on in with the sand. So again, we got a little front bunker right here. They got the uh, flags right on up here. Okay, they're getting ready to uh, cut the edge. They'll prepare it, if you can see. Not flag day, that's where the architect wants to see the sand splashed up nice and high, because he ain't gonna be around here to splash it back on up after the rain. That's gonna be the maintenance boys' jobs. But the maintenance boys right now are putting in a little drainage. And there you go again, herringbone. Even though we don't have that far to go, you know, get it right in the water. You have to put this in so that these high dollar boys when they come out and play right after that sprinkling of that rain and spend that money they gotta have nice dry 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 bunker so a little bit of something what goes on underneath the sand we always want to show you what's underneath the dirt but this is what's underneath the sand boy i know how to talk i just don't know how to shut these things off